Welcome back to another video guys. We're here at the same location when I first got my bike and we did a walk around of everything that I had planned to do on it, all the parts, all the accessories that I was planning to do on the bike was filmed right here. So I was like, you know what? Why not go back to the same place and go over everything that we spoke about? So here we are. It is a beautiful day out here in dirty Jersey. Blue skies, clear skies, baby. Now I've had the bike now for four months and within that four month period we have done a ton of stuff to it no we're nowhere near done to it there's still a lot of stuff that we uh got to put on the bike and change uh here and there but it, it's a large amount of things that we put on so let's go over everything all right so right here we have this eight inch clockworks windshield uh in that bronze tint looks really really nice i've been getting a lot of questions lately on instagram and on the channel about the height of this windshield and it's an eight inch guys eight inch bronze tint bronze is very very light it's kind of a, a light smoke you could say but you can still see that the little tint of bronze in it looks really 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 nice now for the lights we have this baja light lp6 and the baja s1s for the turn signals they look absolutely great this light is white it just has an amber cover on it you can just take it off whenever you want put it back on it it's a rock cover that's what they call it um but i i really like the amber look on it but whenever i want to take it off it just have the white I can simply just do that. Now, right here for the front, we have the uh, Santoro crash bar right here. I love this thing. It looks really nice. Protects the bike. We have those uh, Cadillac wheels. Just for looks, guys. It's just it's just cool. <laughs> just really, really, really cool. So this Hinton of Orange, I ordered from them as well. I thought it was going to be more of a, a darker orange, and it's not. It's, uh, it's pretty bright. Um, I also accidentally ordered two. So, uh, I'm actually going to get the other ones powder coated black so I could just get rid of this orange because I just don't like the way it just looks at the bike. So, we'll be switching that out in a few weeks and it'll just all be all black. Now, my bar setup. I absolutely love this bar setup. This is an 8 inch Krause riser and bar setup right here. It looks great. Krause makes fantastic stuff made here in the US of A. Just really, really nice. Top notch, top of the line products guys i really like the design of the gauge pod it looks really really cool i just go ahead and turn it off for you but it, it looks super clean I, I feel like it cleans everything up really nice it, it just looks real high-end man it just just screams out high-end um the bar is a low bend bar from them that comes with the setup uh i think it's um about an inch and one eighth um really nice bar i'm thinking i'm gonna be switching out the bar though uh, in a few months maybe go with a mid-bend bar um just so i can have more of the uh, aggressive look to it and i want something closer to me so i might do a mid-bend bar and i might do the t-rex plate just because i want it just to be a little bit closer um but what i want to do is just rock out with it for a few more months and see exactly where i kind of want to have that setup um exactly which is great because uh, with, with these things you could you know even with, with the with the t-rex plate you're kind of able to bring it uh bring it a little closer to you so we'll see exactly how it goes stay tuned for that uh grips we have the orlin s grips right here i love these grips i had these grips on my low rider s with the gold caps while they were bronze um super super comfortable they're not bulky um just a a nice grip with great grip um probably one of my favorite grips in the in the industry to be honest um levers we got these psr shorty levers right here uh they're fully adjustable they're great they feel great they look cool another great product that just you know looks high end and it it, it looks good it feels great and it, and it does the function that it's supposed to really really nice now one of my favorite things on this bike is this custom seat from lapara this is the tail whip design i had a tail whip on my roll glide um absolutely love the design of the tail whip that's what's called tail whip because it whips up right here in the front fully customized if you guys want to get a customized seat just hit up their instagram page tell them i sent you um they do great stuff huge shout out to dante man that this 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 guy doesn't miss i basically told them i'm gonna listen i kind of i kind of want this idea i want to put this on it i want to put this material on it i want to you know and it, um he was able to kind of put all my ideas all combined into one 
um the only thing he changed on his end was just the print of the stitching because I, I originally i wanted like a, a diamond cut stitching but he just went ahead and changed it to this cross pattern right here which looks great i'm, I'm happy with that it's cool but yeah, so we got uh, Alcantara right here. Ooh, buttery. Right here in the passenger seat as well. We got the nice brown distressed leather. Looks beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It feels great as well. Lapara badging right there in that red. Lapara logo on the side and that yellowish. Uh, it's like a goldish, brownish color. Looks great. Then we got the MK87 Brandon in the back. Um, love it <laughs> I, just, I just love it. it it just the seat looks awesome you got to see it in person man and the pictures doesn't do any justice and yeah it just it kind of combines everything real good together all the colors just come really 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 nice now for the exhaust another one of my favorite well, i mean pretty much everything on this bike is like my favorite product at the moment right now <laughs> so i love this exhaust this is the uh sp concept big bore exhaust uh this thing is great originally i was gonna get the one with all the welds on the pipes but then i was like you know what no let me just get the regular one um but the the pie cuts on the other one does look sick um an amazing exhaust i'll turn it off for you right now so you guys can hear it Sounds great. Not too raspy. I didn't want anything too raspy this time. Nice deep tone with a light rasp to it. That's how I could describe it. SP Concept Exhaust, big bore. Um, okay. This air cleaner right here, this is from Fueling. Um, this is the BA. It looks awesome. It, it's just a really nice looking exhaust. No, it does not bother me on my knee. It doesn't get in the way. The stock one, the stock heavy breather, the cone that, uh, that it had, that actually bothered my knee. That actually got more in the way than this does. Uh, it came out fairly, fairly, uh, fairly out. Um, but it's, it doesn't bother me. It's it's fine. It, it looks great. It does the job. It looks cool. And that's that. We'll get into the stage two part right now. We'll just keep going back to go over everything else that we have in the bike. Um, we have these side covers here, these carbon fiber side covers from Black Widow Creations, which we're still waiting on more carbon parts. So can I tell you? Should I tell you? Let's tell you. We're going to have the uh, carbon tank dash coming carbon rear fender carbon front fender it's gonna be great it's gonna be carbon all made here in the us of a it's it's great it's just gonna be great i love carbon uh, let me show you the one on this side really nice really nice product so visit those guys over at uh black widow creations huge shout out to uh to gabe man um in the back we have the moons mc rear light um i got rid of the stock um the stock light because i just didn't want the bullet turn signals on the side poking out i wanted to clean everything up and this this to me looks great smoked flush integrated turn signals you can't beat that the lay down plate guys i've also been getting a lot of questions i know you guys really like this lay down plate this is from where is this from where is this from uh oh this is from drag that's where it's from drag specialties real nice nice flush to the fender it looks great cleaned up the light from the moons mc does shine up so for you guys wondering hey the, does the light shine up into the plate i want to be visible i want it to be seen yes it, it does now we got this cool torque bag right here the bar bag so if you guys are looking for a cool bar bag torque makes some great stuff really really nice talking about torque we got my gloves my collab gloves mk87 and torque gloves there might be like a handful left on the website if you guys want to support the channel i'm going to be looking the link down below you guys could go cop yourself a pair i have a new pair coming out in like two months new design new everything it's going to be great Bang. all right so last but not least let's talk about the stage two after the stage two we'll talk about everything that we still have planned for the bike so stage two what do we have we have for a cam we have the um psychorama 483 cam beautiful awesome performance cam 
comparable to hmm like a 475 when it comes to sound and a power delivery um, but this to me has a deeper lobe to it love the sound of it this is exactly the sound and performance that i wanted to get out of this bike that's why this bike sounds so great with that pipe the stage two together all combined boom it's great great stuff now we'll mention a few things out of the stage two but if you really want to know all the parts and components that went into putting the stage two together there's a video for that i'm going to be linking it up at the end if you guys want to know everything that's in the stage two hit that link hit that video it's a lot of information on there but uh let me see we got fuel in 5.3 fuel injectors in here i went ahead and switched out the chrome tubes for the all blacked out nice look cleans up the motor cleans up the bike really really nice we have a manifold from a revolution in there uh 53 millimeter manifold i believe it is throttle body we didn't touch we let the stock throttle body but maybe down the line if we do something else later on maybe a stage three or whatever we'll change out the throttle body and do a few other little changes here and there um lifters solid push rods oil pump plate um all the internals are from sns a lot of stuff from fueling um just everything really came combined all together man really 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 nice we got the uh, strengthening kit on top from sns as well what else do we have on this bike we have some cool mini boards but i can't talk about them because they're they're not out yet um but they're really awesome but they're just not on the market yet so i can't talk about them so i've been using them for a while i've been trying them out they're great have nothing bad to say about them they're just really really awesome i'll just show you them i just won't show you the logo Ooh, nice i don't know if you guys can see it in there but we also have this trans trans cover in there as well um i think that's pretty much it that covers all the parts and accessories that are on the bike oh we also have a bunch of cool stickers inside the bike nice look at this love me some stickers now let's go over real quick everything that's pending on the bike well let's get on the bike because it's really hot in here that sound sounds so good It's like 100 degrees out today, guys. Really, really hot. All right, so what is left to do on the bike? Well, I have Milwaukee next week and I really thought I was gonna have my brakes done by then, but I'm not because Lindo hasn't shipped my stuff yet. So went ahead and ordered some blacked out Lindo rotors for the bike. <laughs> it's gonna look so good, it's gonna look so good. So, blacked out Lindo rotors. Hopefully they come in the next week. We can have them on to show you guys. So we'll do that. I do wanna get the Brembo calipers later on. Also blacked out, so that'll be down the line. Um, I'm gonna be powder coating the wheels black. So everything's gonna be blacked out. Um, I wanna get a swing arm for the bike as well. I don't want to mention which one yet because I still haven't decided, but I'm looking at two different options. So blacked out swing arm as well. And what's left after that? Um, over the winter time, I'm going to be debating if we're going to be doing a stage three or not. We might. I'm trying to make this into a monster of a little bike. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that, that bridge once we, uh, once the winter time gets here for like a winter project. We'll see. Um, what else? I think those are like the big main parts on my list. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing little things here and there. Uh, oh yeah. Once we get all the carbon parts, the front and rear fender, <clears throat> we're going to be, uh, doing some pinstriping to match the paint as well to, you know make it pop out and i know some of you guys are gonna be like why are you gonna take off those amazing parts on a numbered bike a special bike because it's so special it's special but it's really not numbered but it is because i don't care <laughs> and this is my bike and i do what i want to it so if i want to go and 
throw a bucket of paint on this bike tomorrow, guess what? I'll do that because it's my bike and yeah. Um, anyways, that's going to be it. Those are all the parts and accessories on my bike. I hope you guys do like everything on it. We did go ahead and change a lot of stuff from what I originally had planned. I know we we're going to do a lot of gold and all that stuff. But no, we I changed my mind. I changed my mind on a lot of stuff all the time. Um, talking about that, yes, that's what I forgot. Suspension. We're going to be doing suspension on the bike pretty soon. Which suspension are we going to do? I don't know yet. Um, there's also two options, so we'll see. I also do want to get the gold tubes for the front. That's the only gold probably going to be on the bike. But those gold tubes look so sick. So we're, we're, we're going to do a whole front end setup. Just love the sound of this bike. <laughs> um, that's gonna be it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you want to get all these parts, then yeah, I'm gonna be linking down the link to the exhaust down below so you guys can order that from the affiliate link. Uh, the video talking about all the parts and accessories that went into the um, stage two will be at the end, so you can click on that if you're interested in having the same setup that I have. And that's it. I'm going to keep enjoying my hot ass day. Maybe we'll go to the pool later. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Get your MK87 gloves too, man. Okay, bye.